hi everyone welcome back to my channel code canvas in this video i will explain how you can integrate a facebook page feed widget in your wordpress website wordpress is one of the popular cms and more than 27 percent of web i mean the websites are developed in wordpress it's pretty huge right so let's see how this plugin can be integrated so what is facebook page feeds I can show you an example when you go to that developers.facebook.com you will see one page where you can add the facebook page url there are few options out there and you can play with the page like if you want to show the page feeds from youtube you need to change the url here and it will load the facebook feeds for this facebook.com slash youtube page but you need to give here the Facebook page URL. It should be only a valid Facebook page URL. And there are few restrictions like you can't add the age restriction or a country restriction as well for your page when you configure the Facebook page and it should work fine. So basically this plugin has, the WordPress plugin has integrated this code into the, plug, uh, the WordPress and it is easy to integrate and add this widget, the feed in the WordPress. So let's see how you can integrate it. For that, you need to go to WordPress, WordPress administrator, click on add new plugin. You need to search for Facebook page feed. You may find other plugins as well. You need to scroll down this one widget for social page feeds it might take few minutes depending upon the speed of your internet yeah it's installed click on activate once the plugin has been activated it will redirect to the widget spread automatically So this is the new interface for your widgets here in block sidebar or footer wherever you want to add the widget click on plus icon and search for Facebook yeah so it will find a Facebook widget and the default options the default configurations are already there the title the Facebook page application ID the URL which we need to take care of the timeline events message what options you need and few other options are there so let me show you how you can add the options how you can change the options so this is the default one i can update and just check it should show in the sidebar so this is the sidebar for this theme it depends on your theme how the widgets are showing so as you can see this is the title the timeline events if events are there the messages you can send message to this page as well and the default timeline okay apart from this you can change the language for example let's change it to russian update and you can see few labels are updated to russia the russian language but the content is in english so it should be in english you can change few other options like if you don't want to show events and messages if you want to hide the cover photo if you want to show the small header as well as other options for width and height as well let's see how it's working so see the, the header is smaller now right uh, you can select the adapt to plugin container width once you select this option the widget will automatically automatically set its width to its container width 
it depends on your theme how it, the theme is uh, developed let's change the language to english and the update yeah so if you see only timeline is there and it looks good you can change this url in your case you need to give your facebook page url right for testing purpose let's let's add the youtube it, it's a valid facebook page url so you can add it and save it let's see yeah so it's a page feed for youtube so this was for a widget if you want to add this widget in a page or post sidebar you can do it as well let me show how you can do it you can add short code in the posts or pages let me just edit this in the plugin page when you scroll down in the faq section you can find the short code just copy the basic short code paste it in notepad and you need to change this single code to the correct one because it's not the correct just copy this again and click on this plus icon this is the post interface short code simply paste this and update let's visit that post and you you can see the feed from another page into the a post detail page yeah this is for instagram and this is for youtube so it looks good there are other few options as well which you can use just copy this paste this change just change it copy it again paste it and update So you can see this short code is in Russian language. We have given the select underscore LNG is equal to RU underscore RU and other options. Same as width and height as well. And if you don't want to show messages and events, just delete it and update. It will show only events. In this way, you can add the Facebook page feed in your post as well as in your widget, in your sidebar. It's easy. And you can find all the sidebar and shortcode options here in this shortcode. So I think that's easy and the last thing before i end up this video the facebook application id here you can see the default application id which plugin author has created for all the all the developers right if you want to create a facebook application id for your own you can visit the developers.facebook.com and here you can create an app and follow the steps but if you don't want to create your application for your single website or it is it is not required as of now so you can just use this application id for all your plugins i mean for all your widgets and if you want to get this the application id you can find it from here as well for this faq section just copy this and paste it in your widget 
it should work okay i think that's all from my end today if you have any question or any suggestion please leave your comments below please like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you